What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, let's just have done a bunch of things and I've prepared a bunch of things. So over here, you'll see there's stuff a little bit everywhere. Uh, if we go at the other place over there, there's stuff everywhere. There's also stuff in my inventory. Like over here, all prepared. Over here, there's a bunch of things. Over here, there's a bunch of things. Over here, there's nothing because I took it out. Over here, there's a bunch of things. Is this thing... Yeah, this thing doesn't have any power anymore. Let's, uh, let's put that in there. <laughs> all right. So... In my bag, as you can see, there's five loot chests. That's because uh, we did some quests and ended up uh, doing those. I have done something off camera. Uh, well, a lot of things off camera. First of all, I decided to do this. Uh, for people that don't understand, this thing holds eight bucket. This thing, 32. This thing sends liquid over there. This thing sends liquid over there. So now I've got 40 buckets of milk. This allowed me to do a bunch of things here. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of things. And that allowed me to do... Bam! Plogman's Lunch. So this thing gives everything, but for me it's not the best. The best is really the roast prime beef. Uh, just because it does everything instantly. So you gain your life instantly and it doesn't take any saturation when you eat it. Eat it. Uh, I made a market to be able to buy uh, the seeds. I have grape, cucumber, agave, and onion. 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 No, it's onion. Uh, so yeah, with these, uh, you can do like the recipe for this. Uh, like that. It's really not that hard. Uh, the only thing is like apple that you really need to get. And a little bit of beef. But this is where... This thing here, the roast prime bacon, comes really into play. Uh, this one, you make it from raw prime, and the prime, you can cut it and it gives four. And if you know anything, you know that I've got food for days around my base. I keep killing it. I could kill it now, come back in 30 minutes, and it's still going to have, like, guys here that I can kill. It's as stupid as that. Over here, I made uh, a couple of uh, more of this. So I've got a tank here, 32 buckets. I have also uh, increased these to the maximum size with purity minimum 70. This is going to be useful uh, probably there or next episode. But first of all, let's grab the book. Let's go to base. And I have done <laughs> a lot. So we have the floor, it's a three tall floor with glowing glass, with living wood everywhere, and it took forever to make. I had decided also with uh, by talking with uh, the other guys on the server that I should probably put a ceiling on it. Uh, so there's a ceiling going everywhere, and over here we just have like the, the sides. Oh, I completely forgot. Uh, I'm supposed to remove these. Like, so. Uh, I've also made a fiery shovel. It's unbreaking and everything uh, because I wanted to get some glass. And it's super easy. You go in the desert, you, <laughs> you break everything with this. Everything turns into glass and that's it. That's how it goes. But yeah, so the middle bit's probably going to be for Batania. And I'm really happy with how this place turned out. It is really nice. Me likey. <laughs> so yeah, but let, let's get into things because we've got a lot of things to do. First of all, let's open those. Block of steel leaf, that's pretty cool. Clay, that's bad. A canopy tree stuff, Ardite coin, and taco. Tacos are cool. But uh, I've got stuff way better. Because this thing you can eat even when you're full and it gives... Uh, by the way, this is just Rose Prime that you get again from killing stuff, which I have everywhere at my other place. And it's just a joke to get. Uh, so, alright, let's get back here. Uh, we're going to do a couple of things. Over here, first of all, let's do this. 
I, I think that's how many I needed. Come on. Uh, I might need actually 28. I think it's 28. I miscalculated. But all right, so we, we did this. It's going to open like a couple of things. Uh, yeah, there's the Salismondas that I kind of wanted to make. So if we go here, bam, Salismondas. Let's go click a little... I think it's a bookshelf. Is there a bookshelves here? Like, is there a bookshelf at the top? No. I'm not sure exactly where I have a bookshelf. Uh, maybe above here. Let's go check out. If it's not here, it's gonna be in the other uh, big tower. Uh, no, okay, we don't have anything here. So let's do... Calculating trajectory. All right, that, that wasn't a, as bad as I thought. Yeah, there's one right there. Oh no, <laughs> went too strong. And boom. All right, let's get in the easy way. There we go. All right, so we can do Salismondis. Right click on this. And it should transform it into a Tomanomnomicon. I know there's only one Tomana, but I always say Tomanomnomnomicon. Because that's the way you do it. When you open it, you get your things. What you should do, how you do things, how things are done. And after that, you're probably going to say, why are you doing this? Well, it's pretty simple. The reason I need to get into Tomcraft is because you need Tomcraft to get into Batania. Yes, if you haven't looked at the recipe and you go into Batania and you try to make a mana spreader, you will need Illumination Powder, which is from Astral Sorcery. But when you do this, you need Yellow Knitter, which is from Tomcraft. So you're going to have to make a couple of things and eventually you will uh, find this. But yeah. So I just wanted to make this because uh, we will need it. So, all right, we've got this. But if you remember, we started Applied Energistics and that was pretty much where we wanted to go. Over here, I have everything. 16 crafts of this. Bam, 32. Go away, horse. 16 drive, I'm pretty sure they don't stack. Oh, they stack. And over here, if we do this right, we should be able to do 16 drive. I know, it's a lot. I don't need 16 drive right now. But, why not make 16 drives? <laughs> I'm not gonna need 16 drive, I might need one for now. But as you can see, I also got a couple of things. I made a couple more machine casings and stuff like that. Uh, I crafted this one like a crazy maniac. But yeah, alright, so we've got our drive. Now let's get to the other good stuff. Over here. We have formation cores. We have annihilation cores. We have illuminated panels. We have nothing because you need one of these, one of these, and one of these for a ME terminal. And we have, of course, over here, a crafting terminal. And if we go over here, no, wait, we need to start over here. We have this over here, this over there. We have, of course, three interface. And if we go over here, we have 32 1K storage. And if we go over here and we place the 1K storage, we will end up with 10K. Uh, wait, I miscalculated. Eight. <laughs> Eight. 4k storage and if we wanted we could put it to 16k storage which is probably something we will do but we have storage we have a drive we need to make disk with those they're made like this oh i didn't see that you needed more of these that is something we will have to do but as you can see things are not so hard <laughs> but yeah all right so let's put these things away uh, so we're going to need this. Uh, the reason we need the interface is because we're going to need one storage bus. Uh, and interface are always good to have. All right, we've got the terminal. Uh, let's put those here. But I think I might want to try to get like 
If I get nine, I can get three of the other one, but I don't think we've got a lot of items yet. So maybe we can stick with four Ks uh, and use the, uh, the, the, the drawers to get our stuff that we have a lot of. So I think we're gonna keep, keep with this. So we just need to get more of these materials. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I place those. Well, I've got a redstone, I've got some of that. Uh, is there something else? Yes, we need some of these, so let's grab that. All right, so let's do this. Bam, so we've got 10, and we can fit 10 into a drive. There we go, we're set. All right, next thing. We also want to look at export bus. I know it's my, it's kind of weird. We start, we're looking into export bus. Why would you do that? You're a crazy idiot. Uh, simply because the only power we have are stuff with coal. So why not export coal from the system and use this to power the system? So we're always going to have power and we can't have a switch to turn it on and off. Something like that. So, what we're gonna need uh, for the expert export, it was the formation, two iron, and a piston. I should have pistons by the dozen. Maybe not. Eh, I've got like this left. Let's grab them because I think we're gonna need them. We're gonna need one of those actually placed properly. And I think it's a formation. Yeah, it's the export. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'll put this one there, but for now it's gonna change. Oh, I should probably talk about the demon ingot in my inventory. Uh, yeah, you need to click this and the brick on all sides. Uh, it's because I changed my weapon to a demonic because I was tired of two attacking the beasts. So I ended up making something that has enough damage. All right, so this can go there. Uh, Okay, so I needed to make something else. Yeah, I needed to get one of these to turn. Uh, one of these into one of these and placing the interface over there will turn this into a storage bus because I've also made a drawer. Uh, let's look at drawer. Controller, it's like this. It's all block that we've already used. And what this allows you is you can right click this thing and it's gonna place everything that can be placed in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the storage bus onto this and all this is going to be available to us. All right, over here, export bus. We've got our export bus, perfect. We're gonna place it with the other things. And now it's the time where we wanna move everything. So, to do this, how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to do this. We're going to come here. We're going to place that thing there. We're going to make uh, the drives. It's going to take me a little bit because I... Th do I have enough? Oh, yeah. Look, I've got all this. All right. So, let's do this. We need 10. Uh, wow, it's expensive. Oh, wow. Do I have enough? I think I might have enough. Uh, drive. No, uh, storage, yes, okay, so the one we're doing is this one here, so we need to make these, oh, I think I've got enough for the chests, but not enough for the drives, yeah, I've got just enough for 10, so let's grab, no, not an ingot, like, There goes 16. We're going to put that in the cutting machine and that should give us what we need. All right. Cutting machine. Bam. Do your job. Grab these. Put them there. Let's grab this. Put them here. Let's grab this. Put them here. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to be able to make four. We can make nine. And the next one's going to allow us to do it. All right. So we need the glass. We need the redstone. Do we still have redstone here? Yes, we do. All right. So bam. 
this thing is gonna make nine. They do not stack, so you need to inventory space. Okay, let's do this. Uh, come on, you're gonna make ten now. Yeah, okay, there's ten. Uh, we need the inventory space, so I presume we're gonna fill this bag again. I keep clearing it and then putting stuff back in there. Uh, oh wait, let's uh, put food with food. And other things, of course, because there's not only just food. Oh, that's cool, because I didn't see, but you can use uh, this thing. So we could make a machine with the coins. Nice, that could work. All right, so we've got enough space. Bam, there we go. Better than chest. Yes, it is. All right, we're going to grab this. Okay. Uh... Let's see if this is enough to power it. I hope it is. And then I'm gonna put everything I have in chests over here, except the things that don't stack. These I'm just gonna put them away uh, in something to transport. But, all right, so what we do is we have this thing over here. Uh, we do this. Where are my Miami cables? Miami cables. <laughs> well, uh, they don't seem to be here. Did I lose them? I keep losing stuff, guys. They're probably in a chest over here. I, I really keep losing things. <laughs> like, it's really annoying. Uh, let's do cable. Double click. So this is the trick for people who uh, don't know where their things are. <laughs> Seriously, where are, where are they? Oh yeah, I farmed these uh, for a little bit, as you can see. Cables, 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 cables. Miami cables are not here. Where did I place my cables? Oh, they're probably in, a, in the chest over there because that's where I was doing a... Yeah, that makes sense. I placed my things with the correct things. I just don't remember it. Or maybe they're just... Yeah, they're here. Alright. Okay. Alright, I'm ready for this. Let's put you over here to get power. Bam. We're gonna put one cable, two cable. Alright, open the inventory. Place this over here. Put that. We can access things. We can click this because... But now, we can't put anything in there because there's no storage. So, what we're gonna do is BAM! <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I think we're good. Look, it's it's keeping the power. How good is it that, uh, you know, keeping things in there? Alright, so let's try. We're gonna start placing a couple of those. Uh, let's say, like, the calculation. Did this thing go down? Yeah, it's not bad. Alright, so, my next step move everything over, then we're gonna take this, we're also gonna take packing tape, this thing here, and let me show you how I'm gonna do this, because I'm not gonna let you uh, sit through this. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need more than one. Okay. Let's do this, let's do that, bam. And what you can do is you can right-click, and then you can break it, and then you can move it. So that's how I'm going to move everything over here. But as you can see, there's like, you can do eight. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to be able to move everything. And we're probably going to have to remake some of those chests because I want the, comp uh, the compacting drawers for all of them. Uh, we're going to have to do upgrades and things like that. So yeah, there's a bunch of things we need to do. Uh, but yeah, so let me move all of these things over. And I'm going to bring you guys back at the other base. All right, guys, check this out. So I went a little bit overboard uh, again. Uh, I, I didn't think I wanted to remove the, the design, but I decided that it was better because, well, that's the perfect place to put the drawers. So I did that. And then here I passed the cable like all the way under the floor to here to connect to the drawer. I place the storage bus here, and I f uh, did that it's 10,000. 
Uh, there is one thing that is left for us to do. And it is... Took, took, took here. All right. Uh, I'm thinking of something though. Huh, yeah, that might be uh, something we could do. Instead of having a toggle, we could have, well, on, on, online. Is there an online detector? Online detector, yeah. We could make this to detect if I'm online. And if I'm not online, it's going to turn off the system so that it doesn't use any power at all. I think that could be a good thing to do. But, all right, so I pretty much decided that a bunch of things will go into here. Uh, the, uh, okay, why, why why did it make that noise? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking I did one thing in Tomcraft and now I'm gonna have crazy noise all the time. But, um, yeah, I was thinking of modifying this one to have the things for Batania on this side. So that you can just come and click and you have it. Uh, but for the moment, they are in the AE system. Uh, at the moment, this thing's able to suffice for what we have, but I know it's uh, struggling. Like, it, it's uh, it's a little bit uh, too much for it. But all right, let's get uh, by number. We're, we're going to get coal into there. Uh, so that machine's pretty cool because... It's simply uh, using the power when when you need it. So it's going to stop when it doesn't need it. There we go. We're going to place that there. All right. So what this thing is going to do is going to output. And uh, like I said, we're going to do something. If I do this. Hey, why, why are things still on? Why is this thing still on? It's not supposed to be on. Because we've got the toggle bus here. It says it's online. <laughs> oh, wait. I connected it here. So we're going to have to... Can I use this? Sometimes you can use other... No, you can't. Okay. So let's make the tool for this. Uh, wrench. I think it's this one. There we go. Wait, no? Oh, yeah. I forgot. It's not a cable like this. Why, why, why am I having issues with this? It's not like it's my first time. You need to make this tool. Ah, uh, you make this tool, and then you use it with anything, and then you place it there, there, so that it doesn't connect. There we go. So now that it doesn't connect, can we do this? Will it turn on? Yes, okay, it turns on even if it's on here. Perfect. Uh, the thing we can do is remove this. It's not needed. All right. Let's slime out. Perfect. So, it's gonna keep 64 in here, and when we need it, we can flick the lever. Things are gonna work. And, uh, like I said, Oh, let's make another toggle. All right, so toggle. So it's just like this. Let's turn it on. Let's access our system. Let's do this. Okay, so I've got the cables on me. No. Wait, where are my cables? Eh, let's make more cables. Uh, okay, well, we don't, <laughs> we don't have everything at all. Okay, wait. Oh, I forgot to put the glass. I've got like crazy amount of glass in here. I just need to put it in there. Okay, well, it's fine. We're gonna do this, but uh, Fluix... Eh, let's use that. It's fine. All right, let's go like this. Then there we go. All right, then we're gonna do this. It's gonna invert it. Then we're gonna break this one. Uh, let's put the inverted here and then we place this all right so now it's on so it's turned off when you turn it off it's going to turn on so what i'm going to do <laughs> wait 
Ah, I really hate falling into this hole every time. Okay, so let's turn on the system. Let's do an online detector. Okay, so we need to make a couple of those. One, two. What? I wasn't holding shift at all. Why didn't it? I, I keep having issues on the mod pack for some reason. It starts crafting and like it holds shifts and control. And I'm not sure why. All right. So we're going to put that there. So we're going to do Kraken. Perfect. So it emits redstone. But that's not what we want. We want it to emit redstone when we're not there. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a redstone. Oh, I don't have sticks. All right. That's not something I thought I would need to do. Uh, if you don't know, you can make sticks like this. All right. Okay. So we're going to do this. So it's going to turn it off. And there we go. So when I'm going to be offline, this thing's going to turn off. So for a test, let's remove a leather. There we go. So this thing turned on over here and it's going to close the system for us. So even if I forget about it, this thing is still going to not use the power. So I think this is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy we've got storage. So let's put this here. Uh, the, as you can see, there's a lot of them that are empty. I did not move everything because I'm not sure these I want to put in the system over here. I might put them in other uh, places. Like the stuff for Britannia, I'm probably going to put it in the back over here. Uh, Tomcraft, not sure yet. I still got some place for wood, so I could put the Tomcraft wood over here. Uh, this thing, I think I'm just going to put it in, in here. Mm. So, yeah. Wait, why is it turned off? Yeah, I forgot to re-put the letter. <laughs> there we go. So that's just turned on. And when we want to turn it off, there we go. It's off. Uh, one thing also, I think uh, there's a detector, a proximity detector or something that you can use as well. Uh, that could be a thing. Just so, you know, we don't have to... Uh... Oh, there's a chat detector as well. Huh. Yeah, entity detector. So this thing, I think, will detect when you're close. So if you're close, you can turn it on or off. And I think that could also work. But I think for the moment, we are good. Uh, yeah, this thing, what did I do with this? Oh yeah, I think I just placed it straight into the system. Oh yeah, my inventory is completely full. Mm. Yeah, that that's the issue uh, when you don't have power. Uh, you try to put something in there and it's instantly going to say, yeah, I don't have enough power for that. So what is cool right now is that I'm going to put the gold nugget and it's to go in there. So at 2,352, as you can see, it's there. It's because I placed a priority in the system. So instead of going here, it's going to go there. Which you, you can do here as well. So you can set a priority. But we want this one to be the first. So if we ever want to have more drawers, we can use the other walls. So I think it gives us a nice place for expansion. Uh, for the moment, still got some place. Uh, I still got a lot of ingot as well in here. Uh, not ingot, ore. Yeah, that I need to transform. So, yeah, there's a bunch of things to do, but l let's go look at uh, what I have left at home. Uh, I did not grab everything. Like, over here, there's a bunch of blocks. I'm not sure I need all of those. This one is empty. This is food. Uh, we don't need any of this. We might need this, though, so I'm going to bring it. Uh, the Hoyt, of course, we're going to bring it. Uh, these I'm going to grab, but I need to grab like one chest. Uh, these don't stack, so I'm not putting them in. Uh, all this here is all armor. This is all stuff that doesn't stack. This is stuff that I'm not sure where to put. I don't want to have that in the system. Uh, these again, stuff that don't stack. Stuff that don't stack or other stuff that are kind of specific. So, and the system is a little bit weird. Uh, so, yeah, it's all stuff that I really need to think about where I'm going to put it. Uh, I still need to move, I think. 
Well, this we need to move over there. The machines we need to move over there. Uh, these chests here are probably going to put stuff as well. Uh, machines over there. I just took the AE part. I didn't take anything of the rest. So I still need to move all of these things. But uh, I'm going to do this off camera in between episodes. Uh, so that you guys don't have to worry about any of that. And yeah. So I'm pretty happy with what happened. Uh, by the way, I found a way to uh, do my... Uh, uh, wait, let's do uh, paste. Do my uh, s my uh, stone for Britannia. Yeah, you put this thing on paste. So you can paste the whole thing in one go. That that worked really well. I had, uh, I think I have it in here. Uh, yeah, I've got 600 living rock. So that's something that we're going to be able to put as well on the other base. But guys, that is going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little quickie to get into AE. Uh, I surely enjoyed it, that's for sure. But if you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.